share with you the vision of 1966 and how it unfolded. It was in February of 1966 as I lie upon my bed. Trouble, the multiplicity of problems facing my people that seemed to have no solutions. I was listening to religious fervor when it was obvious that prayers were not being answered. And I too had a vision simply of getting a job, owning an automobile, and buying a house. Nothing beyond that. And I was deeply troubled as I lay upon my bed. And uh, at that time, the angel Gabriel would come to bring the word of God that it was time to start the journey back to the promised land and to establish the long-awaited kingdom of God that had been prophesied and promised. Oh, there we go. All right. Hey, everybody. Hope all is well. All right. So I'm going to share something very interesting with you. Okay, so this morning, I wake up around like five, four ish. You know, um, when I wake up around this time, you know, I've been having a lot of premonitions. And when I wake up around this time, I start having all, um, my premonitions and my um, future predictions and what's going to happen, what's to come. I always, I always come about my premonition of all of the house of Israel coming together here in the Holy Land and reclaiming our land, okay? And it was just so ironic that it was so ironic. I'm wait, I'm getting excited because the punchline is just it is so amazing. So um the caption of that post was like all it takes is for us to stand up, okay? And it was just like all it takes is for us to stand up and it's a done deal, okay? Alright. So I'm bringing my I'm bringing you all around full circle. Stay with me, okay? Stay with me. Alright, so when I had my permission about reclaiming the land. I did not know what it was going to take to do this as for starters. Maybe there's going to be a lot of major, major changes going on inside of the community here in Israel, all right, and worldwide. There's going to be a restoration camp made, expand. It's already, it's already um, in, the, in the effect, but we're going to expand that camp so that all Israelites from all over the land all over the world can come and live here together and unite here together in the land that was promised to us. Now, this morning, when I had this this termination, the thought that came to my mind was that my experience, my life experience is a metaphor of what we've been through as a people. You know what I'm saying? As a people. And exactly how when I made, when I had my awakening, and my ex-husband tried to interfere with what was going on, he represented the oppressor. This is exactly the same thing that's gonna to happen to our people, okay? And we're gonna make major life changes. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, I mean, look, y'all, it's, it look, it's a total game changer, okay? Here's that punishment and exactly how I'm done. Like, I feel like, okay, like, I paid my dues, I know I paid my dues. And it's like, together as a people, I feel as, as, as though we pay our dues. And it, it is the time, like, I feel as if the time has come for us to stand up and reclaim what is rightfully ours. Okay? Y'all hear where I'm coming from? Y'all feeling where I'm coming from? Y'all, it's gonna be a lot. We're running. we running the world. Y'all hear me? We are running the world. All right? So, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, okay, I'm taking you back. So I posted a post on Facebook and then I, 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 in a post I mentioned that the curse has been lit just, ha just like I paid my due and that punishment or that curse was lifted from me. I felt deep inside of my heart that now the curse of our people has been lifted. It is time. All I know is that it is time to make some major changes. Now all of this came about from I went from from wanting to create a YouTube channel to start to um, you know um, teach about spirituality. I went from there to expanding it into a reality television show. From there, expanding it to 
investing inside of the community. It expanded until taking over Israel became our land. And then it expanded even more to taking over the world and us running this system, this system righteously and just. My God, I'm like, it just, it's raining now. It's raining now. <laughs> yes, so you all, this is it, all right? I want all of my black brothers and sisters to know y'all about to come home. Y'all about to come home because the curse has been lifted. And now they can do nothing about it. The universe on our side. We have all of the ancestors who suffered. We have all of them backing us up. The oppressor is not going to stand a chance against us. This time around, they're not going to stand a chance. Believe me when I tell you. All it takes for us is to unite. Once we unite, game over. It's game over. And just so y'all know, I'm running for president. Anything and everything is possible. I'm aiming for the stars. I'm running for president. All right? So we're going to have our own campaign. Y'all remember this day. Because it won't be long from now either. There's going to be a lot of major changes to you all. All right? And I want y'all to get ready. Be prepared. I mean, be prepared spiritually too because it's going to be a lot happening. All right? I'm not the only one who had, a, who had an awakening around this time. There are so many people who had an awakening around this time. People like myself who have ability. And people who, who, can, who can also help humanity. You know what I'm saying? And we were chosen. We are all scattered. All parts of the air, all parts of the earth doing our part until we all merge together. My part is here in Israel. My part started here in Israel. Okay? And it's just going to expand. And once it expands, once it expands, Wow. Y'all, this is just, this is amazing. This is exciting. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's breathtaking. It is just breathtaking. And you know what? I'm ready. I am ready to take on whatever comes my way for my people. All right, y'all? We're going to win this battle. We're going to win this battle. We're going to win. We're going to win back our land. That there would be a great convergence of spiritual men that would rise above the barriers of religion. And they would converge at Jerusalem, following the light of Isaiah. Arise and shine, for thy light has come. And they would come and bring their intellectual gifts to the mountain of the Most High. They would bring those intellectual gifts unto the most holy to be used for the great redemptive struggle for our people and all of the families on this earth and uh, with that great convergence we would begin the era of what i refer to as post judgment with that great convergence a new idea is coming into existence and the application of this new idea will end all of those plagues and suffering that you have been experiencing up until this time. Legend has it that there's going to come a time in history when a people who are from a completely different solar system, more specifically, Nebula, and the planet of Nebu Nebiru, the planet is within that solar system that they are originated from before it has gotten destroyed. They're known as the Generation X. Rumor has it that they will be rebels of this system and will create a new era. They are known as the Chosen who are members 
of the royal, galactic, Anunnaki, reptilian, ancient, Kemet, Egyptian bloodline. They are us. The original Masons who have founded the Freemasonry secret society. We are also known as the original Jews based upon our genetics and blood type, which is RH negative, AKA O negative. The galactic twin flames. We are the incarnated gods and goddesses who have helped to create this system and laws. We are the new world order. In this lifetime, our karma was to live the life of poverty. It was a part of our test of becoming initiates and master masons. Our most challenging test will be ridding the world, ridding the world of evil doers. That means that we must take a life of the wicked. Our seemingly dark path has prepared us to take on such an easy and uneasy task as indigo star seeds. As mentioned in my previous videos, along with written in the world, written in this, this world of evildoers, our purpose is to raise the vibration and consciousness of humanity, to share love and light, to be a service to humanity, to heal humanity, and to use our gifts and spiritual abilities to do so through music, art, dance, divinations, healing abilities, plus more. We have experienced the proverbial lifestyle firsthand. We have stared evil in the eyes as children as we were raped, molested, and physically abused. We have witnessed the sacrifices, the sacrifices of children as children. We have stared death in the eyes and were determined to persevere. We have battled demons who are in disguise as human in the physical flesh. We have witnessed possessions firsthand. Many were called, but few were chosen. We are the new dawn and the new era. They fear the day that we will awaken to who we truly are, which are the chosen indigo star seeds. We will never fold. This is beast mode. This rise of the royal bloodline is ice cold. It's a prediction that has already been foretold. Lilith, known as the realist, known as she who represents the ancient gods and goddesses, the most notorious and the most bold. That's right, bitches. We bet we not a phoenix, but the phoenix rising from the fucking ashes of our history, exposing the secrets of the matrix and their mystery. The glitch, ah, yeah, I said it, gang stalk, silly, y'all. Fail to stop the rise of a mega star. Lilith, Sekhmet, the daughter of Ra. Have you not learned? I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. Let's go. I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. Let's go. We coming back for our spot at the top of the food chain. Let them know it's a new kid on the block. 
This is the comeback of the original Masons. We ain't money chasing, we are the frequency of currency. We alchemy our victory, the empire's back, it's a legacy. The best to ever do it in history. The resurrection of the immortal deities. Isis, my eye, Lilith, Sekhmet, and Nefertiti. Come through my debt, the stage is set, whole team on deck. We win in this game of chess at all costs. No sweat, no sweat, no sweat, no sweat, no sweat, and we the best. Come through my deck, the stage is set, whole team on deck. We win in this game of chess at all costs. No sweat, no sweat, no sweat, no sweat, no sweat, no sweat, and we the best. I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Now they have learned. Now they have learned. That I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Now they have learned. That I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. Let's go. I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. Let's go. I'm known for bringing the fifth degree karmic justice. Burn, 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 burn. Because the tables has turned. We coming back for our spot at the top of the food chain. Let them know it's a new kid on the block. We hot. We coming back for our spot at the top of the food chain. Let them know it's a new kid on the block. We hot. We coming back for our spot at the top of the food chain. Let them know it's a new kid on the block. We hot. We hot. We hot. We hot. We hot. We won't stop. Let's go. Please help me find her. You're not afraid of the dark. Ready? <laughs>